This is a uh, shadfly. My name is Tony Torrance, and we're going to show you how to get her done. Um, first of all, we're starting with a uh, saltwater number four hook um, for shad, your choice. There's a lot of good ones out there. I'm going to lay a little bead of uh, Zappa Gap here just to get this head to stay. We're using uh, Hairline's new brass eyes in a medium silver. We'll set that down on the hook there and crisscross it to seat it. The Zappa Gap will finish the job in getting it to stay in position. I like to crisscross and then come around the base, snug it up good and tight, and then the Zappa Gap will do the rest. A little bit of Mirage Crystal Flash for your tail. I like to tie this in up near the eyes, and the reason I do that is just to keep the body symmetry. Um, and you'll see why when we start using the V-Rib a little bit later. Get that tied back, pull it all back together. And we'll do the same thing with our V-Rib. This is a medium V-Rib in chartreuse. It has some transparency to it, which is good when we put the underbody on. Start that up about the same position that you started your Mirage. And then some holo um, tinsel, silver. This is medium. You can use medium or large. I like to tie it up at the front as well, and the reason I do that is because I wrap back and then forward to cover up any gaps I may have created being lazy in my wrapping. Just make sure that you have everything covered because this will come through your V-Rib and give um, some more sheen and a little sparkle to your fly. Take your V-Rib. Now this stuff has um, a round side and a flat side. You want the flat side out towards you when you tie it in. And then as you come around, I'm going to come around once and then behind the tail. That helps that tail stand up. So when the water hits it, it's shaking a little bit. Come across and just work your way up. Try not to leave any gaps at all. Full, you want to pull this pretty snug. And when you get up here, Make sure you get good wraps on it because that can spring loose on you if you don't snug it down tight. Got my tail in place there now. This is kind of where the uh, rubber hits the road. We're going to do a little loop with some crystal flash. This is um, fluorescent chartreuse. I'm going to cut off faux ten fibers, bend it over bend it over again and then I'm going to cut it to length and it's the length that I want my hackle to be cut both ends so I've got just a hank of it make my loop get my fancy dancy twirler here and some wax. You really want to wax your thread because it grabs this crystal flash that's pretty slick. Get it in there. Make sure it's even. Spread it out just a little bit. And spin it. What I like to do is use a set of hackle pliers rather than pulling and potentially bending the wires on my whirler here. So I just make a couple wraps around that, snip it close to my whirler, and then I just set that off to the side and get it out of the way. Now I'm going to wrap this around just like I would a hackle. I like to go around. You saw I went around the thread. I like to do that because it, it just helps seat it a little bit better so it can't get away from me. 
Now that's kind of standing up all around, so I'm going to do a few wraps to get it in position. Sometimes you can grab it and spread it out a little bit, get it where you want it. And then we're going to use some uh, Hairlines STS Trilobal in a fluorescent flame for the head. You can do this fly in a lot of different um, colors, but the reds and hot pinks and greens are really good colors for shad. These fish will be coming here mid-May. You can start catching them in pretty decent numbers. Um, peak month is usually May and June. And it's pretty much wrapped up by the 4th of July. I'm going to dub this on. And this is a pretty coarse dubbing. It's not going to wrap tight like some of your thinner dubbings, or finer dubbing, excuse me. Um, but that's okay, because you want it to bug out. And this stuff bugs out and really has a good glisten to it. So I'll pull that hackle back, make a wrap behind, figure eight it across and around. Finish it up front. Put a little whip finish action on her. And that is a done bug. Now if you really want to bug it out, <clears throat> you can take your hair picker and get this stuff to stand out a little bit. It just gives it a little more buggy finish. It will end up doing that anyway. And that's your shad fly for this uh, spring and summer.